Now we'll talk about Georgia Tech. Well, things a little bit better over there on the flats as they have a nice come from behind win victory against Wake Forest. Through 21 passes, what's this newfangled offense over there, Georgia Tech? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a newfangled <laughs> offense or anything to that nature, but it is that they are they are opening the pass up. And part of that was really dictated across the uh, the ball game itself. They were behind the whole game. In fact, I was just thinking, uh, coming to the studio here today, Georgia Tech was was almost becoming a sports writer's nightmare the other night because you had to hit the delete button. They were losing. They, they had a lot of, of, of key issues there in the defense. Most of the offense, was, you know, the blocking was, was not there at all. The passing was so-so. There were a couple of drops. And so you were just anticipating a loss for Georgia Tech. And then sure enough, they started to march there with about nine minutes left in the game. And then the game-winning touchdown to Macon's own Corey Earls, a former Central standout, who uh, caught the game-winning touchdown, a nine-yard touchdown pass off a slant. And so, yeah, they were just down the whole game. That's where the passes came in. And, and we'll probably see a few more of those this week if, if they get down again. But uh, you hope that that wouldn't happen to a team like Virginia. And now, you mentioned Corey Earls. How, how impressive have you been with him so far this year, making native? Yeah, Corey has come on pretty well. Uh, of course, he's he's been a little bit of that guy just in the back of the scenes, you know, a little bit of the uh, the shadows kind of guy. He's gotten a lot more playing time lately because there have been, like I said, a lot of drops, particularly with Stephen Hill, who is the presumed number one receiver there for Georgia Tech. And part of the reason why he's dropped the ball so much is he's just put a lot of pressure on himself. Coming into the season, he was supposed to be the next Demarius Thomas, the next Bay Bay. Of course, uh, Demarius Thomas being another middle Georgian from West Lawrence. And, uh, but he just hasn't lived up to the billing just quite yet. And so Corey Earls has seen that void, and he's stepped right in, and he's doing a, a really nice job of holding the offense in that regard in, in the pass-catching game. All right, well, there you go. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's Fox Focus. Let's turn it back over to the big desk with Admin Portia. All right, thank you.